All right, so we are back again. Uh, thank you very much uh, for uh, tuning in. Uh, this is JTV Sports. My name is OJ and Sam is here. <laughs> yes, Sam is here. And if you are just joining us for the first time, thank you very much. Please, um, we urge you to subscribe to the channel. Please just subscribe to the channel and uh, so that we can grow together. We can, you know, do great things together. All right, and so right now we want to do, uh, we want to know, uh, look at um, the Nigerian possible starting eleven, and uh, Sam is here to break it down for us. Sam, who do you think? Uh, who are the players you think <laughs> will start the game today against the Black Stars of Ghana? That you think that um, you know Austin Egwabon will want to you know select for the game today. So can you now uh, can you uh, you know break it down for us? Okay. Um... Any coach, if you come to a Nigerian team right now, you will be confused because all the players are actually doing well. Um, both from the, in fact, where is um, just shaking right now is just the goalkeeper side and also goalkeeper the, department. Yes, and also the defensive midfield department. But I think Innocent Bonke will also try his best since Wilfred Ndidi is not there. Mm. Um, so um, the starting eleven in goalkeeper, I think um, Francis Uzo will be given a chance to prove himself. Mm. Um, and at defense. Um, actually, the only players I was finding it difficult to find to put um, to choose between the two players is between um, Clevon Bassi of Rangers and um, Seydou Sanusi of um, FC Porto. Mm. The both players are fantastic. In fact, they are they are in the best form of their of, of their life right now. You see, Sanusi he goes to attack, he comes back to defend. Bassi also mm. he plays week in week out for Rangers. So um, I think the coach might decide to go with Bassi. On this one, okay. then um, five and six will be um, Econ, um, despite he has not been having a good um, game or he has not been having game time in um, Watford. Watford yeah. Yes, Balogun. Balogun also has um, injury issues um, this season, but still he is the best um, central defender I think we we'll have for now. Mm. Then um, at the right side we we'll have um, right back we we'll have um, Olaina. Um, which also has not since the Afcon hasn't played any serious competitive match. So where where will Kenneth Omero be? Um, Kenneth Kenneth Omero, I think he will come from the bench. If Kenneth Omero come from the bench, yes, you think so? Me. Yes, yes, oh, really, yes, yes, yes. yes. Wow. Uh, wow. because the pairing of Econ and Balogun has been there for um some time yeah. now, and they understood each other very well. So I think those two um can be able to um guide um, Nigerian defense. But uh, in the absence of uh. Um, of course, Ekong, um, Balogun, and um, you know, Omero, have, Omero. Been, have been doing well. Yes, yes, Balogun and Omero have been doing well, but I think the coach will still want to stick to Ekong and Balogun. Okay, the, the, the yes. Oibu wall. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> if if um, the coach decides to use Basi over um, Sanusi, mm. um, that means the back four will just be um, players that, 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 that we're giving back to outside Nigeria. Mm. So you see, um, Olaina. Um, which he was uh, he he was given back to in UK. Mm. Basi also in UK. Um, um, Econ and Balogo in mm. I think Germany also. Germany also yes. yes, yes. So those those four players are fantastic. Um, and in fact they are in good form. Then when you come to midfield, midfield now, yes. Um, where I think they gonna have edge over us mm. right now as it is now because um when you come to the midfield, there's no way for the Didi. Mm. So um, the coach might decide to go with Innocent Bunker. Is the only. Um, defensive midfield that we have for now is mm. strong. He can mark the ball, but I'm just being scared because we've not gotten enough of him so far in the Super Eagles. So um, then in midfield, since we have Innocent Bank, we also have um uh, Joe Aribo mm. who will play um as the number ten for the Nigerian Super Eagles. Then in I think he will, he might decide to just use those two in the midfield. Mm. Then in attack we have um Vito Sime playing as the nine. Um, Dennis Bonaventure playing. Um, Emmanuel Dennis playing as. Um, the supporting uh, striker, then at the wing, uh, Mosi Simon and Samuel Chukwese. Mm. So I think uh, with this, the attack is okay, mm. but I'm just scared of the def- the midfield. The midfield. Yes, the that, midfield that, is my worry. That's think the yes, Black yes, Stars yes. will, will, will ah, win. Ah, Thomas Pate, Baba Idris and uh, Mohamed Kudus. If they have the chance, especially Kudus and Pate, mm. they might destroy that midfield, to be frank. Mm. So are you not advising, um, uh, you know, uh, Austin Gabon, the the entering coach, to use the wing. Okay, if um because I'm, because they know uh, at the Nations Cup. Yes, that was uh, what Tunisia did. Tunisia yes, were able to they hold clipped, they clipped Simon. Simon. Wing. Yes, yes, yes. Was just hold Moses Simon. That's, and that's all. all. Yes, but uh, I think first of all, now we have players that could play 
from either from the wing and from the in fact mm. at the outcome we didn't have um Osime mm. and there was no Dennis. Mm. So I think with that the the the, the center will also work very well. But I'm scared of the midfield because if um Ghana has the ball, who who are those people that will mark to mm. get the ball? Mm. You understand? So I will prefer if it goes with um playing innocent bank. And um, what's it called? Daniel, uh, what's it, Frank Onyeka of mm. Brentford? Mm. Yes, if he plays those two as um, a double defensive midfielder, a double four, I think Nigeria will also have a strong um, presence in the midfield. But if he okay, if he refuses to use um, Onyeka, he can also go with Etebo. Mm. So it will be um, Innocent Bonk, Etebo, and um, Aribo mm. at the midfield, which will be okay. Um, it, those those three are matching with um, Baba Idris and um, Kudus with um, Thomas Pate. So um, that midfield is something that is. Um, is that getting me worried? Yes, that's your, getting your me major concern. Yes, yes. Thank you very much, Sam. You're welcome, sir. So that's the breakdown of the possible Nigeria starting eleven, and I tell you, we are excited. We just can't wait uh, for this game to come. Thank you very much uh, for you know uh, for viewing. Uh, thank you for tuning in. I want small, and want to urge you to please subscribe to this channel. Please subscribe to the channel. We urge you to do that. Share and also like. Drop a comment there and uh, we will appreciate you. Thank you very much. See you on the next one.